everyone. Thanks so much for logging on to CBS in Denver and CBSDenver.com. Time for a few more minutes with our Xfinity Monday live guests. Had the opportunity to chat with CU head coach Carl Durrell this evening. Coach, we talked about how it's been a crazy five months since you took over the head job at CU. Obviously, you haven't had the opportunity to be on the practice field with your team. You guys were about to start to spring practice when everything happened with coronavirus. But I know you've been watching a lot of film. So when you look back at last year's CU football program, what did you like about what you saw from the Buffs and that you're hoping carries over to your first year at CU? I really, I, I felt after watching both sides of the ball um, twice now, I mean, I've went through the whole season on defense a couple times, the same thing offensively. I really feel that we're close. We're really close to doing some really good things and getting this program where it should be in a short period of time. Um, I think our defense, uh, really improved as the season went on towards the latter end of the season. Uh, we had a, some really good games against uh, Washington and Stanford and leading into the towards the end of the, of the season there uh, played really well. And I know that they had some injuries early and they had a new secondary that really kind of were some former players on the offensive side of the ball that they moved over to defense. Uh, so there was a lot of growing pains throughout the season that I think culminated to a playing pretty effectively the last few games of the year. So I was really pleased about that because most of those guys are back on defense. Uh, we missed Davion Taylor, as you know. You know he's, in, he's with, the, with Philadelphia now. But other than that, we got mostly everyone back in that unit that's going to help us uh, other than a couple corners. Um, I think offensively, you know, our biggest hurdle will be the quarterback, you know, trying to find, you know, the right, right guy there. And we said we have some really good talent that's competing for that spot. Um, we need so much reps in that spot because the guys that are that are kind of contending for it haven't had much playing experience. You know, Tyler Lytle, you know, he played some last year, but very, very minimal snaps. And so he needs to have a great offseason and, and, and a good training camp, you know, prior to the start of the season to see how well he does along with Brendan and also Sam. But uh, skill wise, we're, we're in really good shape with decent. We have some good receivers that are young and I think have a chance to make a name for themselves. Our running back group is the same as a young group with uh, led by Alex Fontenot and he's a really good player. I think he he should be a thousand yard rusher, you know, in, a, in the course of a season. Our tight ends are probably a little bit on the thinner side. We got a couple of incoming freshmen that are that are here in the program now. But Brady Russell has been kind of a mm -hmm. stellar uh, kid that's been very instrumental for us offensively and I think the most important thing we talked about a little bit uh, when we're talking about the Broncos but our offensive line has some talent you know we have some guys there that with some development and some experience they got a chance to really hold their own so I think we're really really close it's just a matter of getting some game reps and getting some team reps all the stuff that's been missing for the last six yeah. months here Michael you know, <laughs> as soon as we can get on the field and start doing some work, you know, we'll get a chance to kind of shore up some issues and get ready to go. But I'm real excited about it. You're echoing what every coach is echoing right now. Man, I just want to get on the field, right? Like, I just want to <laughs> get out to practice, get to know these guys a little bit. Hey, coach, you had a chance, obviously, to spend a couple years in the NFL. Your last couple of years have been at the pro level. What did you take away from that experience that you might try and use now that you're back as a head coach at college? The, the best takeaway I took was was that the players on the NFL level and here at the college level, they're really very similar. I mean, other than they're 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 extremely talented, hand picked, they're at all these 32 organizations, and you know they're 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 talented people. Um, I would say their mindset is very very similar to the college athlete. I mean, they're still young players that want to be coached, that want to be, you know, you know, develop skill, technique, fundamentals. You know, they want to make a name for themselves. You know, I, I had a kid in De Devontae Parker that he was going into his fifth year last year. And a lot of people were saying he was a bust. You know, they didn't they didn't think that he was having a great NFL career at that point. And to me, I just came in and we, we built a solid relationship. And, and we, we, began, we began, he began to trust me more in terms of some things that I was instilling for him to help him continue to, to make that climb. And, you know, he ends up having a tremendous year last year. And a lot of it was because of his own work ethic. And just he needed someone to trust and believe in him that he could overcome the, the issues that he had. 
And he did, you know, and I was one of those guys. So to me, it's very similar. You know, we have kids here that can be shaped and can be molded, uh, that can be brought up the right way. And talking about our college players now, you know, we sometimes we're, you know, at this level, we're, we're father figures sometimes if there's no father in the home. So we, we're mentors, we're, we're coaches, we're teachers, we do all those things. But I think it's really, it's really my, you know, my niche, you know, because I'm a very hands-on, want to get to know our players as well as, you know, as possible because I think that brings out the most in them. And I think I'm in the right spot. So, but there's very similarities, but I think here is, you know, you get a chance to, to, to help them both uh, on the field and off the field. Well, Coach, I can speak for everybody in the media, and I know there's a lot of CU fans out there who are excited about what you're going to do with that program and excited to have you leading the Buffs. And I see the sign behind you. We interrupt this marriage to bring you football season. So <laughs> tell the family thank you for the time. We appreciate uh, them letting you uh, lend out some of your time to us tonight, Coach. Really enjoyed the conversation. Thanks so much for joining us. Well, thank you so much, Michael, for having me on. I really appreciate it. And uh, all the Buff fans out there will be going at some point in time. But uh, when we do, you'll be proud of what you see. That's going to do it for us. Thanks so much for logging on to CBS in Denver and CBSDenver.com.